Hey everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate on how to make sushi simple. Uh, we're going to use freshly caught fluke, otherwise known as summer flounder or harami in the sushi world. We have our ingredients and we also have the tools that are going to be needed for this uh, for the process. Uh, we have this there we have our fish, celery, carrots, green onion, we have seasoned rice vinegar, also sushi vinegar would be the same thing. Regular rice vinegar doesn't have the seasoning added to it, so be sure that you're using seasoned rice vinegar. We have our soy sauce, white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, two types of wasabi, dried powder, and already pre-made tube form. We also have our sushi nori. This is our seaweed, dried, nice and crispy. This is what we will use to make our rolls with. As far as the tools, we have our bamboo rolling mat, we have our spatula, a nice sharp knife, a measuring, a glass bowl, non-metallic, glass or plastic preferably. And lastly, we have our sushi rice. It's a short grain Japanese type of rice, which is what you're going to need to use versus a long grain rice. You can purchase this at your store, at most grocery stores, at least here in New Jersey. We have all this stuff available quite easily. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our rice. Okay, for the preparation of the rice we're going to start with one cup of rice and our glass bowl. What we're going to do first is to rinse the rice and we need to wash off a lot of the starchiness to it. So add it to the bowl, we're going to mix this up and we're going to constantly drain the rice of this cloudy water. Start around your fingertips. Rinse. This can take a while. You can also just let it soak for a little while and then drain it. The rice will sink to the bottom so you won't lose too many pieces. Okay, now that after about 10 minutes of soaking the rice, draining the water off, you can see that the water is now relatively clear and no longer cloudy. Now that's we know that it has been rinsed enough. So add it to a strainer. We're going to let that strain for roughly a half hour or so to get as much water back out of it as possible. Alright, now that our, our rice is drained for about 30 minutes, it's relatively dry. But we're going to add it to a nice heavy medium pot and we're going to add one and a quarter cups of water to that. Turn our stove oven on here. Now we're going to bring this to a boil. Once it's boiling, we're going to cover it and allow it to simmer on a much lower setting for about 20 minutes. Okay, now that our rice is boiling, we're going to reduce the heat down to just a little bit more than low. Cover it tightly. I have to put some weight on this so it stays in place. So we're going to cover it tightly and we're going to set our timer for 20 minutes. Okay, now that our rice is finished here cooking, we're going to turn the heat off and now we're going to allow it to sit for another 10 minutes before we take it out of the pot. After our 10 minute rest period, we're going to take the rice out of the pot. And we're going to add it to a non-metallic bowl, plastic, glass, because we're going to also add the vinegar and that could react with the metal and cause a metallic taste to our rice. Okay, once we got it into our bowl, we're gonna add two tablespoons of the rice, seasoned rice vinegar, and we'll stir that in. And 
this point, we're now just going to let our rice cool off. And our rice is set. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate on how to basically cut the uh, fish out for our sushi. This is the way that I prefer to make to, to cut it up. So some people may differ with that, but this is the way I prefer. So this is a half of a fluke belly filet, already cleaned and dressed properly. Uh, what I like to do is I start at the tail section, take our knife, and being that this is much thinner, I'm going to slice this on a nice angle. These are going to be for our sashimi and also our regular sushi. A couple pieces there. Now, on the thicker section of the fillet is where I like to cut out the, the piece for our roll. So take your thicker section here and kind of cut it so that it's a square. So that'll be for one roll. And this here will be for a second roll. The remaining piece left, this will be excellent for our sashimi. And we're going to take this and we're going to cut against the grain on a nice angle also. So starting here. Our fish is now prepared and we'll move to the next step. All right, here we are with our rice has now been cooled down. We have our pieces to assemble of our vegetables, carrots, celery, green onion, and our slices of the fluke. Our dried seaweed here, our nori sheet, has two different sides to it. One's a rough texture, the other side is very glossy. Place the glossy side down onto your rolling mat. A bowl of water because the rice is so sticky that the water will prevent it from sticking to your fingers consistently. So we're going to wet our hands. And grab a blob of rice. We'll place it down. We're only going to put it on half of the sheet of nori. We'll just spread it out with our fingers, getting it as close to the edge as possible. If the rice is sticking to you, wet your fingers some more if needed. Close to the edge. This is where it just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. Nice and close to the edge. Run your hand along the side of the nori. Press the rice up against it. Okay, there we go. Now half of the nori sheet is covered in our rice. We're going to take one of our ingredients, place it down, not right on the edge, but kind of close to it. Take a strip of our fish, place that right in the middle. Sure that it reaches end to end. A couple of our carrots here. Four will fit across there. Anything that hangs over the edge, don't really worry about it. So we're gonna, we can just trim that up to make it look better, or just leave it. it doesn't make a difference. It all tastes the same. <coughs> okay, with all of our ingredients placed. Oh, there we grab the rolling mat on the edge. At the same time, press your ingredients down into the rice as you begin to roll it over the mat. This is where it's going to make it or break it because you want to make a nice tight roll. So roll over and push down. And once you get it started, you're going to push a little bit more. Make a nice tight roll, pulling the mat here. Pushing down with your fingers. Once you get a little, once you get all that rice covered up, 
wet your fingers again and dampen up the nori. This is going to make it stick to itself. And then you're just going to pull the mat while pressing down. And there's our roll. Take our knife, nice sharp knife, get a little wet, prevent sticking. And I usually like to just cut it into eight pieces, it's just easier. So we're going to go half. Double that. Low water. Cut each of those also in half. we go. Nice simple rolls. Very easy. A little trimming. Wish. And then we're going to plate those up. Okay, now we're going to make our nigiri sushi, which is going to be a mound of rice with just a piece of fish on top and a simple band of nori holding it together. This is a half a sheet of nori. Some of it was damaged. Just take this, there's some prep perforations already into it, but if you look, just about half of each perforation would be good. So you're just going to cut right down to make your band again. Nice sharp knife, nice smooth cut. <laughs> One band. Okay, we have four bands <coughs> that we're going to use to wrap our nigiri sushi, the rice, slice of fish, to keep it all together. So start by grabbing some of our rice, just a small little handful, with wet fingers again, of course. And you're going to mold it together in your hand to make a nice little mound. Place that mound onto a strip. Grab a piece of our fish, place that on top. <clears throat> and then we're going to wet our piece of nori. Again, that's to help it mold and stick. So grab it and just roll. center line just like that all right as you see I got my nigiri sushi all put together and assembled now we're just going to plate up to make it look neat elaborate you don't have to go too crazy whatever you think is going to look nice for yourself okay and then we're going to put our sashimi on here as well there we have it. 